My name is Kristen Greenwald. I'm the Director of Inpatient Care at Powell Valley Healthcare. I've been with the organization for 16 years and most of my years have been providing patient care to our mothers and babies. And I'm Carolyn Rood. I'm one of the lactation counselors here at Powell Valley Healthcare and I'm also an OB nurse and have been an OB nurse for the past 25 plus years and all of my experience has been here at Powell Valley Healthcare. I, as a lactation counselor, I'm proud to announce that we are the first and only facility in the state of Wyoming um, to become baby friendly and just recently we were notified that um, we received our redesignation for another five years um, as a baby friendly hospital here in the state of Wyoming. We also recently were notified by the Centers for Disease Control that we received a 96% on our MPINK survey. MPINK is a national survey that assesses best feeding practices for all hospitals in the United States. Wyoming received a 77% on the MPINK survey and nationally we were only at 79%. So for us to achieve 96% is something we are very proud of. Staff here at Powell Valley Healthcare has always provided exceptional care to our OB patients. However, we were looking for some ways to improve education for both our staff and also to help support our mothers in their feeding choice. Um, under the direction of Denise Schuler, who had really the vision to embark on baby-friendly journey um, through her commitment and dedication, we did become baby friendly in uh, 2010 and baby friendly has helped us to provide evidence-based or research-based practices to help support mothers in their feeding decision. And again, this is a comprehensive journey towards excellence with the goal in mind of achieving optimal feeding outcomes. We have implemented what we call the 10 steps to successful breastfeeding and these 10 steps help to um, support moms and build their confidence um, with breastfeeding. We also incorporate a lot of education, um, both prenatally and um, postpartum. We have um, prenatal visits that we um, see moms once or twice, whatever they need, and then we also do a lot of education um, after they deliver their babies at the bedside. Staff are proud to the dedication that the organization has shown to these initiatives. All of our staff receive specialized training on how to assist babies on establishing these feedings. Research has shown that initiatives such as skin to skin uh, can improve heart rate and temperature of the, of the infant initially after birth, as well as a increasing bonding of the mother and the infant and breastfeeding long term. Research also shows that if we can establish good feeding patterns and babies breastfeed for six months or longer, it's shown to decrease the chance of diabetes and obesity. It also increases the immunity and decreases chance of infection of our babies. In addition to decreasing postpartum hemorrhage, depression, and also decreasing the chance that a mom will develop ovarian and breast cancer. Quality care is important to me and it is important to me to work for a facility that does strive for excellence in providing the best care that we can for both our patients and our, well, our mothers and our babies. Um, achieving and maintaining our baby friendly designation and a 96% um, score on the MPEAK validation really just um, goes to show um, uh, our commitment to teamwork, our uh, high level of competence, and um, commitment to do what is best and right for our mothers, and that is to um, support them and their decision to breastfeed. And we know that we are doing a good job because our patients are highly satisfied with um, the care that they receive here at Valley Healthcare.